Before um, studying film, I was um, painting a lot, I was studying different arts, and more and more the images in my mind, uh, my fantasy, um, became moving images. So and I understood that uh, these images are not possible to um, present in the form of a painting, but that I have to do the step maybe to learn how to make films. So I had also ideas for uh, for films, um, I wrote little scripts. So, and when I had to decide after school what to what to do, and after doing some certain studies, I decided, okay, I want I want to try to to study film. The passion was before starting the way, and the pain, of course, comes on the way. Film is a visual art, and uh, you can take everything away from a film. You can take uh, the sound away; it's still a film. You can take uh, the colors away. It's still a film. The black and white film is a film. You can uh, take um, the actors away. You still can make a film without actors. You can take the editing away, everything away, but not the image. If you have no image, you have no film. That's why I care very much about um, the language of the image in the film and about the communicative aspect of it, because every film like, an, like every piece of art um, communicates. It's very important to, to be aware about um, the power of images and to use this. And um, to use it means to use the images in a conscious way. But it does not um, mean that I don't care of other things, which are the same and important. So the sound is very important. Uh, um, if, you use, if you have actors, you work with the actors. So all the very complex um, uh, elements of film have to be treated in a very conscious way. I think nobody becomes a filmmaker. I think when you shoot a film, in this special film, you have to become a filmmaker again and again. Because it's not a job like um, a job you do every day for eight hours. So there are many uh, moments, there are long periods when you don't shoot, for example. And when you, uh, for example, write a script, in this moment I would say you're not a filmmaker really, you are an author, you are writing. But uh, then there's a moment when you have to uh, stop being an author and you have to be um, a director or a cinematographer and so on. So the biggest problem is of course um, to be faithful to your uh, vision. Because um, many people have ideas. And um, the question is how you can protect your idea through the whole process of making a film till the end without spoiling it, without losing it. In uh, 1990, in winter, I started studying film in Berlin and uh, without knowing, Bela and me were in the same cafe and we saw each other. And Bela was there because he had a small retrospective of his films. So I don't know who he was. and. Uh, so we were in the same cafe and we looked to each other. And next um, Monday I saw the same guy from the cafe uh, in the office of the film school. And, uh, we, we st and he also recognized me somehow. So we, we recognized our faces from the, from the, and our presence, let's say, from the cafe. And he asked me what I'm doing and I told him that I'm studying and I asked him what he's doing and he said that he gives uh, three days uh, workshop. And then he told me that he wants me to participate. And then I really did the three days uh, workshop. And so this uh, connection between me, me and Bela started. And when we uh, left, and before he left, and we said goodbye, um, he asked me to contact him when I'm in Budapest. And I went very often to Budapest at this time because of my family, which is from there. And um, then I did this, what he asked me to do. Elhűlt a pálinkám. Adná egy üveggel. Hagyd neki. Miért nem a városba ment? Hát elfújta a szél. Hogy fújta volna el? Mert tönkre ment. Because I was organizing a retrospective of Armenian cinema in Berlin in 2007 for one month. So I know quite well the history. 
so the old films and also some contempor contemporary films. But um, nowadays uh, I don't know very much about it because uh, you cannot see it. So there's no chance to, to see Armenian film from 2018-17, I think, uh, under normal circumstances. Because there's no place to, to see these films. That's a big shame, of course. But um, I think uh, it's not the only um, country with this problem. There are many countries uh, of, uh, of which you cannot see the films. Uh, also in, uh, in Europe it's difficult. This film was not a long prepared film, but it came to me by chance. I was in Sarajevo and um, um, working um, with students. After the first part, a, a whole year passed. And then I shot the last part, even though the last part was in my mind before shooting the first part. So the first idea was exactly the last part of the film. And um, then after having shot the two parts, I went back to Sarajevo and shot the middle part alone. It was a quite fast and uh, spontaneous, not spontaneous, but quite fast process. And the whole shooting took me uh, six nights and six days. I was somehow fed up with um, telling a story from the beginning till the end and I wanted to try something else and the idea was to make three parts of a film which work as single parts but at the same time which create all three together a fourth film which is in your mind. The idea that to create a film which is not only on the screen but uh, by having three films on the screen create one which is only in your mind. You see the first part for example and then the second starts you're not sure if this is the beginning of the second part or the end of the first and if you're still in the same film, in the same story or if something new happens and after a while you understand, yes, this is com something completely new. So you should somehow to be, um, to, to, to create in, um, in accordance with yourself and um, otherwise you turn into a monster. Not to uh, spoil your vision and to be faithful to it and to defend it and um, even though it might be hard and um, painful, but it's, uh, it's important to keep it. Because if you spoil your ideas and if you drop your ideas and if you start to make compromises and make uh, films you don't believe in, then, you, then you, uh, you lose yourself. You should be brave and faithful.